I've got one shot. One chance. One frame to get this portrait right. For me, photography has always been an exploration. A process of discovery. A way for me to communicate feelings. Can I create an image that makes me feel something? That makes you feel something? That matters beyond an Instagram like? So with my Hasselblad 503CX and a roll of T-Max 400 black and white film, I've come up to Kansas City to photograph to do a portrait of my mom. To see if I could answer those questions using all natural low light and one single frame of film. So why natural light? Why film? And why only one frame? Unlike digital photography, the process of shooting film, for me, has inherent limitations that require a greater level of understanding and intention. In other words, it's a pass-fail outcome. Either understand the relationship between light and shadows, or I don't. Either know how to use my camera in manual mode and the relationship between ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, or I don't. Either be able to execute a plan for composition in the mood of the portrait, or I don't. Either do or don't. Everything is on the line. It's a pass or fail outcome. I had one shot, one chance, one frame to get this portrait right. All right, so now that I have this one frame exposed, I need to get this film processed and scanned so I can see whether I did or I didn't. I'm curious, do you think I nailed this low light, natural light portrait with one frame or no? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, show the like button just a little bit of love and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more photography videos like this one. All right, so now that I'm back in Dallas, before I close this video out, I just wanted to give you an opportunity to see the portrait of my mom that I created to see if you liked it, to see if you thought that I passed or failed. Did I do it or didn't I? And thanks so much for hanging out with me on my trip to Kansas City to photograph my mom. I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the behind the scenes process and maybe learned a little something that you could take away and use in your photography. Whether it be digital or film, we can always learn from behind the scenes and watching somebody perform behind the scenes. Anyway, thank you again. I appreciate you and I will see you next time on the Pixels and Grain Photo Show.